What's going on guys and welcome back to another Jacob's Clash episode today. Of course you can see we are on the strategic rush and of course we are going to a new town hall which seems like a tradition on all of these episodes uh, but let's just go and look at what our boost is right now. Yeah we have 15 days and 16 hours still on our boost. The next town hall is town hall 12 which is a big one right because the town hall 12 upgrade after that, it's going to slow down a lot. So this will be our final fast town hall upgrade. Nice thing is, cost six million. We have diligently upgraded our gold storages, where we have enough storage space to technically go to town hall twelve today if we want to. But of course, as you can see, we have all these required buildings that we have to place first. I have four builders, so I should be in a good space uh, to do so. Uh, so let me start putting down some of these buildings and then I'll be right back. All right. I wanted to cut in here real quick because I think this is a crazy placement real quick. It's our third out of four heroes. It is our grand warden and he is going to be max level in three, two, one. Bang. We have the grand warden in place. Of course, he's not actually max level, but for the next, uh, what do we have? Eight day boost right there. Yeah. He is max level, which is absolutely insanity. All right, as we can see, the only building I have left over to do is this Eagle Artillery, which does cost six million as well. It costs five days, so it's actually going to work out perfectly because I am going to go find enough loot, upgrade the Eagle Artillery, and then hopefully find just as much loot, upgrade the Town Hall, and the Eagle Artillery will be done right when we get to Town Hall 12. All right, perfect. It took me a while, but I finally filled up my storages as we can see. And that means we can finally go and place our Eagle Artillery. That is best defense in the game or the best defense we have unlocked right now in the game. And that more importantly allows us to go over here to our town hall and be able to upgrade it if we had enough loot. As we see, if I click continue here, that's going to cost us a boatload of gems that I do not have. But I do plan on having that in just a little bit. So as we can see, though, the town hall upgrade takes four days and six hours. So we want to find some core upgrades up here at the top that can help us progress a little bit further. Um, and some upgrades that I'm thinking right away have to be this clan castle. Uh, first of all, five troops is decent. But I know at the next upgrade, we unlock the capability to hold siege machines, and that is crucial. So we are going to spend 2.5 million elixir right there. And now we have 1.2 million elixir left over. And I think, well, yeah, I, I feel like I want to upgrade the laboratory next, which looks like it'll just be one raid. And the main reason for that is, again, right once we get to Town Hall 11, we're going to want to upgrade those Sneaky Goblins or Goblins right away so we can unlock those Sneaky Goblins. Uh, another funny thing that I kind of just want to do right away is if you watch yesterday's episode, you kind of already got a sneak peek at this. But we are losing this war 145 to 50 stars. And unfortunately... We don't have anyone that can help us out. We got perfect war. We were 4-0 prior to this in the All Rush Clan. Didn't work out. This is going to be our first L. But this is basically my PSA out there. If you do have attacks left over, like some of us do right here, and myself, it is definitely worthwhile to go in there and attack the highest base that you can basically beat. Because, well... Uh, you, you're, you're basically just losing out on free loot. Uh, I am a Town Hall 11, but unfortunately, I have very low uh, space, right? So I'm going to go in right here. I guess Clan Castle can't hurt, right, anyone? So I'm going to grab Clan Castle. Uh, luckily, we did Raid Weekend, so we can just reinforce right away. And then we'll just go in on base number 11. And the reason for that is, look, we are going to lose, but we're going to get half of these still. And this is still going to be crucial for our development. 25 of these, 10. So we're going to get around 500. This is about what we're going to get at the end of the raid weekend, which isn't as good as 1,000, but it's better than nothing. So uh, let's go in on this first raid. 
uh, it's not going to be that difficult, right? I don't even care if I two-star, three-star, because that's the best part about it. We just need to one-star in order to grab the loot. So that's what I'm going to do. I am going to try to uh, queen walk to this town hall uh, just to get an easy uh, star. If not, we will play kind of the percentage game here instead. I'm going to start my king along with some of these wizards on the far side. Hopefully to coax our queen to go into the base here. Uh, I don't really see anywhere else where she would go. Uh, yeah, she should target this Tesla next. And yeah, nice. All right, we are going to rage right here. We're heading towards the town hall. That allows me to place these balloons right here to, again, help with the funnel. Funnel was not fully set. Looks like we're now going for the percentage game, which is fine. I'm going to send in the hog riders over on this side, along with our Grand Warden. Uh, I am going to place this Warden ability now as the Eagle Strikes are coming down. I kind of forgot this is our first ever raid with the Grand Warden. Uh, so this is, this is pretty exciting. Uh, but let me freeze this right here. We're just trying to get again to that 50% marker. We don't care about really anything else. Uh, I guess we can heal right in here. Come on. Nice. All right. I'm going to just swag this final heal spell down. We're going to rage up our queen and we're getting out of there, right? We're, we're going to lose the war already, but we are going to earn those medals, which is pretty nice. Uh, now, let's just go directly into the next attack. Uh, and make sure we get the maximum amount of metals that we can. Here we go. Here is the next base. Going to go in with the queen walk again on the bottom side here. We are going to try to wall brick up here. As I believe this is the direction our queen is going to walk. Uh, looks decent so far. I'm going to make sure to set the funnel with these wizards. She should go into the base here. And she does. Good work, Jacob. I'm going to rage up these wall breakers to make sure she breaks into the base. Nice. Perfectly placed wall breakers. And again, we're just going for that one star. I'm going to place down everything else just so we don't lose out on our next army. But this is this one was quite easy. Uh, have you guys ever wanted to see a quad healed queen? Uh, I have. Quad heal. Poison. And let's get out of here. <laughs> you can't even see her there. That's pretty funny. All right, very good by doing those raids. And I also had a treasury claim as well. We can go in here and upgrade the laboratory like I wanted. And now, of course, we have two more builders available. So I want to get one more long-term upgrade going. And I think that's probably going to be this barracks. So once we have enough for the barracks, I'm going to do that. And then, of course, the town hall is going to be our fifth builder down. All right, here we go. I have 2.8 million, and that is a perfect amount because the barracks cost 2.6. That'll be a four-day upgrade, and we already talked about it. The town hall is a four-day and six-hour upgrade, so it really just works out perfect for us. We're upgrading one, two, three, four. Yeah, I was like, where's the fourth? Four of our core upgrades. I guess three of our core upgrades in the Eagle Artillery, um, and then we are also going to be upgrading the town hall. Call me lazy, call me whatever you want, call me wasteful. All of these things are super true. And this probably will impact my time uh, coming uh, like down the line. But I know my schedule right now with uh, this being the first day of school for me back. Um, I'm super busy, right? I, I don't have time to grind out on this account and other accounts. I'm going to pop this gold rune. I know it's not the uh, a great time to do it. But I want to start this four-day timer so then I can grind up in the meantime when I have time. So in 3, 2, 1, let's waste a ton of loot and a crucial gold rune now. All right, <laughs> there we go. And of course, we are going to Town Hall 12. And we're going to spend quite a bit of time at Town Hall 12 again because we are going to have five upgrades. It's recommending a lot of upgrades for us. It wants our heroes to be level 25 at this point, which is still kind of funny because that's still insanely rushed. Uh, and we are just, we're just, we're, they're all level one, right? <laughs> Forget what this is saying. Let's go to the next town hall now, baby. Let's go. Let's go. And we still have the book of building. I am saving that one. I'm not getting that wasteful. We will use that probably town hall 13, town hall 14. Uh, because of course, next month here coming up in like, 
two weeks or so, we will buy the gold pass and we will have a duplicate of books. We're not going to want to waste it, right? So we are going to Town Hall 12. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you have, make sure to like, make sure to subscribe. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye. Thank you.